subscribe dr sadik mathematics channel for getting more online videos evaluate integral 0 to a integral 0 to square root of a square minus x square y square root of x square plus y square dy dx by changing into polar coordinates okay how to evaluate this integration friends by changing into polar coordinates how to evaluate the double integration by changing into polar coordinates today we discuss concept and problems on change of variables my friends concept and problems on change of variables let us see concept change of variables sometimes double or triple integral can be evaluated easily okay we can be evaluated easily by changing the variables of integrals to the other new variable while changing the variable the integral will changes as follows okay the main advantage of this change of variable is okay what is the advantage here we can evaluate the integral easily okay by changing the variables of integrals to the other new variables okay ingo sir and ikkada change of variable use cheyal anante suppose cartesian form ni polar form convert chesinappudu konni konni saarlu problem ni easy ga evaluate chesochandi eppudu polar form lo convert chesinappudu okay this is the example and let us see what is the procedure here change of variables in double integrals now let's discuss here double or triple integral so first we will see in double integral friends in double integral if the variable x and y transforms to a new variables u and v what friends u and v such that x is equal to phi of uv and y that is equal to psi of uv simply x and y are functions of functions of u and v what friends x and y are functions of u and v u and v okay then he defined as double integral f of x y dx dy that is equal to double integral f of u v modulus j du dv okay inko ok sir anni double integral f of x y dx dy that is equal to double integral f of u v modulus j okay x y becomes here u v and then modulus j what is extra term here extra term is modulus j j means you already learn in learn in partial differentiation friends j means jacobian okay jacobian let's see what is the how we define friends j is jacobian and is defined as j that is equal to dou of xy by dou of uv that is equal to determinant of dou x by dou u dou x by dou v dou y by dou u dou y by dou v okay this is the definition of jacobian friends we can easily remember okay and then what he says modulus j okay modulus j what is so if you get the negative value here simply it will it will becomes here positive okay it will becomes positive once again once again double integral f of x y dx dy that is equal to double integral f of u v modulus j extra term is here modulus j friends you always find the value substitute here and then evaluate this integration du tv okay this is for double integrals now what about triple integrals we can guess friends you have we have here uv there we have uv w one more variable there that is the difference okay we have double integral here there we have triple integral that's all change of variables in triple integrals in triple integrals if the variable x y z okay transform your new variable u v and w such that x is equal to phi of u v w y that is equal to psi of u v w and z that is equal to zeta of u v w then then triple integral f of x y z dx dy dz that is equal to triple integral f of u v w modulus j du dv dw okay what is the difference uh, double and triple integral friends there we have double integrals we have here triple integrals okay here also the extra term is here modulus j 
there we have uh, j is jacobian is a function of uv there with respect to x and y or x and jacobian of uh, x y with respect to u uv here friends jacobian of u sorry x y z with respect to u v w friends let us see how we defined where j is jacobian he defined as j that is equal to dou of x y z by dou of u v w that is equal to determinant of dou x by dou u dou x by dou v dou x by w dou y by dou u dou y by dou v dou y by dou w dou z by dou u dou z by dou v dou z by dou w okay here you can remember easily friends okay how how x dou x by dou u dou x by dou v dou x by dou v w and then y friends second row dou y by dou u dou y by dou v dou v dou y by dou w then third row is dou z by dou u dou z by dou v dou z by dou w in this way we can easily remember friends okay now this is general procedure friends there are some standard forms like polar form cylindrical polar coordinates and spherical polar coordinates okay here there also the same formula okay there we can easily remember jacobian value friends let us see what is polar form polar coordinates we know polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta here jacobian value is r friends and it defined as double integral f of xy dx dy that is equal to f of r comma theta friends here what here friends f of r comma theta dr d theta okay dr d theta this is polar form friends and then cylindrical coordinates cylindrical coordinates let us see coordinates x is equal to r cos phi y is equal to r sin phi z is equal to z okay in polar coordinates means it is two dimension it is three dimension friends you can also write here theta so here also j that is equal to jacobian that is equal to r because we have r here and it is defined as triple integral of, of xyz dx dy dz friends here dx dy dz that is equal to triple integral f of r phi z okay dr d phi dz dr d phi dz friends okay and then third one spherical polar coordinates let us see spherical polar coordinates this is a little bit difficult friends x is equal to r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi z is equal to r cos theta here also the coordinates we can easily remember friends how how Come on, tell me how it is. You can easily remember. Let us see. X is equal to r cos theta. See friends here. X is equal to r cos phi. The extra term is sin theta. And y is equal here r sin theta. So see here r sin phi. The extra term is sin theta. So sin theta is common here. Okay, and then that is equal to r cos theta. Okay, here we have r cos r sin theta, and then we have here r cos theta. In this way, you can easily remember friends. In both sides, only x is equal to polar coordinates lo r cos theta undi so r cos phi rastanandi what is extra term ikkada sin theta and y is equal to r sin phi extra term anedi sin theta rendu two common sin theta anandi so sin theta ni multiply cheyam sin theta multiply chesinante sin theta multiply chesthe ikkada em anattu r cos phi r sin phi ante cos r sin theta multiply chesinante and then z is equal to r cos theta okay this is for spherical polar coordinates friends then here jacobian is r square sin theta r square sin theta and it is defined as friends triple integral f of x y z dx dy dz that is equal to triple integral f of r theta phi r r square so reference here this is r square r square sin theta sin theta dr d theta d phi okay r square sin theta dr d theta d phi we should write here jacobian friends so what is jacobian here r square sin theta so r square sin theta dr d theta d phi okay this is about change of variables in double integration triple integration and some standard forms polar coordinates cylindrical polar coordinates and spherical polar coordinates friends let us see one problem on change of variable evaluate integral 0 to a integral 0 to square root of a square minus x square y under root x square plus y square dy dx by changing into polar coordinates by changing into polar coordinates now this is 2017 and 18 problem friends very very important very very important let us see the solution 
so here y limits are so it is in terms of x so we can write here y is equal to limits limits y is equal to 0 and y is equal to under root a square minus x square so it can be written as squaring on both sides and transpose the right left hand side so we get here x square plus y square that is equal to a square these are the y limits and x limits are x is equal to 0 and then x is equal to a x is equal to a let us see geometrically friends let us see geometrically so this is x axis x axis and y axis it represents a circle here so what about y y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 means on x axis okay on x axis and represents a circle friends so draw a circle here this is the circle what is radius here a minus a minus a and it is a x is equal to 0 where we have x is equal to 0 on y axis so x is equal to 0 up to x is equal to a so this is the line so this is the point here so our region is our region is only our region is only come on tell me first coordinate so here we have dy means you draw a vertical strip generally now what he says here what he says changing into polar coordinates changing into polar coordinates so polar coordinates means here uh, polar coordinates polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta okay y is equal to r sin theta x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta friends this is polar coordinates generally we know now i want to find limits ones limits limits for r and theta so i want to convert uh, this uh, graph into polar form friends let us see how it is so this is x axis y axis and this is y is equal to 0 and this is the curve and x is equal to 0 and at the line x is equal to pi by so x is equal to a we know our region is our region is first coordinate first coordinate now in polar coordinates we draw a we draw a wedge polar formula in rajasta only wedge in rajasta so draw a wedge here this is our wedge friends wedge so here a, at the end here here a, first end what is r value r value 0 so so r value 0 to 0 to what is radius friends what is radius here a okay radius is a so 0 to a what is theta limit friends and the x axis theta is equal to 0 up to y axis so theta is equal to pi by 2 here so limits are 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 now you write the given problem here okay write the given problem 0 to a 0 to square root of a square minus y square y y a square minus x square a square minus x square x square plus y square dy dx that is equal to y square root of x square plus y square this is square root of okay now integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to a y means r sin theta square root of x square plus r square, square root of r square ok square root of r square now here dy dx friends whenever we convert into polar coordinates we get dr dr d theta friends ok so we get here r dr d theta that is equal to see friends we have sin theta and r separately 
so we know 0 to pi by 2 is theta limit so 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 sin theta sin theta d theta okay and then 0 to a r square into square root means square root of r square means r r into r r square into r cube so r cube dr that is equal to integral of sin theta means minus cos theta between 0 to pi by 2 here r power 4 by 4 between 0 to a that is equal to cos pi by 2 minus cos pi by 2 minus cos 0 substitute lower limit minus in minus plus here okay and then into a power 4 by 4 substitute lower limit value is 0 so cos pi by 2 cos pi by 2 value is 0 so cos 0 value is cos 0 value is 1 so 1 into a power 4 so, a power 4 by 4. This is the value of given problem, friends. Given problem. Once again, once again, he given integral 0 to a, integral 0 to a, square root of a square minus x square y, square root of x square plus y square dy dx, friends. Changing into polar coordinates. See, friends, 2017 and 18, this is very, very important. So, first here, I write the limits, identify the region, and then write polar coordinates. Okay, in the polar corners, I find the limits here. Limits for r and theta. I simply substitute. I simply substitute here, and then I observe uh, theta and r uh, separate here. So I can integrate separately. I integrate here, then I get the value a power four by four. This is the value of the given problem, friends. If you have any doubt, any doubt, please comment in the comment box. Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Jai Hind.